revolution, a great change, or the violent overthrow of a system of government. Written and created by Jeremy Lennington. The Industrial Revolution and a revolution against government are both very similar, for they both involve an overthrow of an old system. The difference is that in the Industrial Revolution, people started using more machines, whereas the only machine made for the French Revolution was the guillotine used on King Louis. Initiating snazzy transition to invention, King Louis of France, Obama leader of America, Obama represents new thinking, new thinking causes inventions, uploading transition. Snazziness achieved. Here are three important inventions made during the Industrial Revolution that changed the world. The first is the seed drill made by Jethro Tull. It drilled holes in the ground so that seeds could be planted evenly and not spread wastefully across the field. The second is the steam engine made by Thomas Newcomen and improved by James Watt. This changed power and took it from the age of the horse to the age of the iron dragon traveling across the land. Number three. Although this is not specifically an invention, I do believe it belongs in this category. It is the textile industry. Under the new putting out system, the new machines were too large and expensive to be put in people's homes, so they had to build factories for them. These new machines wove or weaved, I don't know which, at such a high pace that it demanded everything to be sped up along with it, increasing the rest of the the Industrial Revolution. The factories that these girls were working in were absolutely horrid and revolting conditions. It was hot, cramped, with little circulation of air or safety measures. Many people died in these factories, especially young children and women. Also in these factories, everything was run by the clock, and the speed was controlled by the factory. If you were sick, you still had to work at exactly the same pace. This is the exact opposite as the way it was on a farm. But I ain't in Shakota anymore. <clears throat> on the farm, or the domestic system. The farm was self-run, family-orientated, and you could work at whatever speed you wanted to depending on how you felt that day. So this means the question is, why would you move to a city? The answer is simple. It was the enclosure movement. Wealthy landowners began fencing off their land that had once been shared with the entire village, so people were forced to leave. This is how the industrial cities grew. And when they grew, it was not a pretty sight. Mommy, what did that woman just throw out the window? Initiating snazzy transition sequence. Transition to revolutions failed. The two revolutions against the government that I am about to compare are the Mexican Revolution and the American Revolution. Compare means to tell the things that are the same about each revolution, so I'm going to tell the things that are the same. They both broke away from a country who had a king and a queen, and in some way was related to Columbus being it through America or through Spain. That was completely beside the point, I don't know why I told you that, but I felt it necessary to compare them. Another similarity is that both countries now have a strong national pride due to the way that they fought for their country when having independence, even though it was both hundreds of years ago. Revolution. 